T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Veos, and today I am experimenting with quick vids. Um, the idea actually came from Cruisin AK, and I definitely recommend you looking at his videos. He has some awesome tutorials on how to fly and operate different types of SSTOs and things of this nature. But yeah, quick vids, maybe about five minutes long, if that. Basically, I'm going to show you uh, things that I've been working on recently and also have shout outs to different uh, YouTubers that I've found out on the internet that have really cool designs. So first, first things first, I'm going to show you this new passenger SSTO. It can carry two passengers with one crew, making a grand total of three Kerbals that it can put up into the orbit. Uh, you could play with around with the engines, put rapier engines on there. I am old school, so unfortunately I have a habit of doing it the old-fashioned way, which to me, it actually makes it look a little better. But at the same time, in my own personal experience, uh, it saves a little bit more fuel. And I don't know why that is, but every time I fly the vehicle the way it is now, or the craft the way it is now, and then I swap over to rapier engines, I tend to have a pinch more fuel after uh, after putting it into orbit. So I don't know why that is. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. Maybe um, the rapier engine needs to be flown differently, have a different type of technique. I'm not sure. But anyway, there she is. Uh, I'm still working on the craft file, so the craft file won't be out in this video. Uh, probably the next video coming up soon. Uh, yeah, I still have a few things I want to tweak, RCS, thrusters, and things of this nature, but I just wanted to give you a sneak peek of what I was working on. Alright, next. Time for the shoutouts. A young man by the name of Vicious Pig has his own little collection of Kerbal Space Program videos. Now recently, I've been watching his, some of his videos, and he actually came up with a really great rocket design. Um, at first glance, it doesn't look like much, but actually it does a really wonderful job of getting a payload into orbit and even beyond that. I don't know if he has, if, I don't know if he knows this, Vicious Pig, if you're listening, but this rocket actually has the potential to send a probe to the moon. I mean, it's that fuel efficient, or that efficient. I don't know what it is, I think it's the fact that you have a crap load of thrusts right at the very beginning that accelerates your craft very quickly through the thick atmosphere so that you have a ton of speed by the time you reach into orbital altitudes. That's what I'm thinking. I'm not a NASA scientist by any means, but yeah, I went ahead and recreated his rocket using his videos as a type of construction guideline and I tweaked it up and put a, a whole bunch of different things on there. Uh, fuel lines and struts as you can see here, a nose cone with a probe inside of it and all kinds of cool little stuff. But uh, remember that this this base design is Vicious Pig's design so I'm not taking credit for anything that you're seeing here. This is all his, this came from his mind. This is his creation basically. All I did was put a little bit more frosting on the cake. So yeah, this rocket right here can make it all the way to the moon and put a little probe on the moon that's how efficient this is so I was geeking out over it it's a really cool uh, rocket design with a solo rocket in the middle of four smaller rockets and and you know me I like building small little things that work and look good at the same time so like I said before when I saw his rocket on the video I was like, oh, that is really cool. So I, I had to say something about it. I just had to say something. So Vicious Pig, 
You're a genius in the works, my friend. Keep up the good work. Well, that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. I am Beos, signing off.